Hey everybody, LAPD Code 3 here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. And as you guys can see today by the vehicle, we have a 2013 Ford Expedition here with the California Highway Patrol. So today, guys, we're going to be doing a CHP episode as you guys requested on the comment section down below of my last episode. And remember, guys, you too can vote in on it as well. And, you know, if you guys are leaving comments down below, don't, don't forget to hit that um, reply button on the pin on the pinned one on the pin section so that way you guys can actually be a part of the voting as well everybody's i need i need at least a couple of voters before we can make it a unanimous decision so that way the next episode can already be made or not just the next episode you know whenever there's an episode that's being in which vehicles are being voted for the next patrol you guys can join in and you know take in the fun a little bit but yeah guys today we got this uh Explorer, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior right quick. It's not exactly fully built. My hands are not exactly on the wheels. Uh, no partition. It does have the does have the uh, does have the gun rack. It's got the not exactly a rack, but more like the standing holsters. And of course, the seats aren't exactly perfect. There's no equipment in the back. So it wasn't exactly a perfect model, but it is part of a uh, Herx Mega Pack. If you guys haven't already downloaded it, it's in the LSPFR website. Or you can find it on other uh, websites such as GTA 5 mods, etc. But uh, yeah, guys, today we're going to be testing out a new callout, City Callouts by Connor FTW. We're going to be testing these callouts out. So hopefully, um, you know, Connor, Connor might pass through this and have a look at it and see if there's any issues or anything. So special shout out to a lot of you guys out there, man. How y'all been? How's the weekend? Gonna be going to be doing this uh, patrol today, first day of fall. So... Hopefully, no. Hopefully, people. Uh, hopefully, people are still not being as still being as uh, arrogant and reckless as usual out here in the city of LA. Well, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and make ourselves available, and we'll all get them back on patrol. Three L thirteen, show me ten eight. Roger, three Lincoln thirteen. Proceed with patrol. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get on patrol. Two, six, three. A traffic felony. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Alright guys, you see it right there. We got a flag on this Phoenix right here. This uh, Camaro, this 80s Camaro. It's going to be a suspended license and it's got a warrant. It's got an outstanding warrant for the driver. So we're going to go ahead and attempt a traffic stop on him. It's going to be on uh, South Prospecting Vespucci. Alright. As soon as the light goes green, we'll light him up. Let's see, uh, what is, let's see if it's the driver that's got the warrant because while well, we got this here, Claudia Montero, she's got a license status suspended. She has the outstanding arrest warrant for accessory to murder. Two citation records for a 30-day commitment of behavioral health facility and open alcohol container in public. As for the Phoenix, all paperwork checks out. Okay, so this is going to be a felony stop, guys. We're going to go ahead and attempt a uh, may, uh, felony stop, get some officers behind us to help us out here. You and the Orange Phoenix pull over to the side of the road. 3L13 requesting felony stop backup. Assistance required in uh, the Spooky Canal. Alright guys, here we go. And all the cars are warping out because this is gonna be this player is gonna be completely blocked out. So we're gonna go ahead and stop traffic right here. All right, here we go. We got him coming. Copy, that's a code two on our way. All right, let me go ahead and open my door real quick so that way we don't. Driver, step out of the vehicle. How dumb are you? Keep your hands where I could see them. On the floor. Take us, take a few steps back. St out. Stay right there. Keep your hands behind your head. Do not reach for anything. Got her? I got you now. All right. <laughs> Claudia Montero, you realize why you're being placed under arrest right now? 
You have a warrant for accessory to murder. I ran your plates and it turns out you're in, the owner is registered to you, so you are the, you're right now being arrested for accessory to murder right now for the warrant that you have for accessory to murder. You have anything illegal on you that we should know about? Anything in your pockets we should know about? Anything's gonna stab us? Poker stickers, guns, drugs, knives, anything like that? What about in the car? Anything in the car that we should know about? You might have something? Okay. We got a baggie of clear crystals, baggie of heroin, illegal prescription pills. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and have a look inside here and see what we find. We got a lot of drugs on her already. Okay, she got a bottle of bleach. Which, uh, I believe a bottle of bleach can be used in murder in murders as well, so that could be used as an accessory tool to murder. Alright, go ahead and look like she's a gang member, as you can clearly see by the shirt. She's definitely a gang member from the East Coast, from the East LA. So, hey, check it out, guys. They rolled up in a Tesla. That's what's up. <laughs> still gotta get the pattern fixed, though, for that. I still gotta get the pattern fixed, because... I, uh, for some reason, I just won't, I can't get it to work like the, uh, like the actual Valor patterns. So, let's go ahead and, uh, do the narcotic field test on these drugs real quick, and then we'll book her, and we'll go ahead and take her right here to the, across the street, literally, the PD station's right across the street. Alright, bag of clear crystals, probably gonna be cocaine or methamphetamine, but we'll double check. There it is, methamphetamines, alright, and then the illegal prescription pills... We'll double check that too. It turns out it's going to be. I'm going to say LSD or fentanyl. It's got to be one of the others. There it is. Fentanyl. Alright. 3L13 requesting transport. Assistance required in. Alright, guys, she's all yours. I'm going to go ahead and. Get her car towed, and uh, let's go ahead and do her paperwork right quick. All right, so we got her for a state. We got her for a state. Uh, let's see, arrest warrant for murder. No, we'll just get her for a warrant for arrest state, and then we'll get her for her driving vehicle documentations, driving motor vehicle while license suspended. We got her for all the drugs. Uh, we've got her for a little bag of heroin. We got her for methamphetamines. We got her for uh, fentanyl. That's about everything we've got her for. Other than that, she didn't really have anything else on her. All right, we got her, guys. We well, we got one. We got one one criminal off the streets today. So let's go ahead and dismiss everybody here, and then we'll go ahead and get this vehicle towed out of here. 3L13 requesting tow truck. Go ahead and get a small one out here. Tow truck. And then we'll open the road back up again. In the Canal. Go ahead and clear traffic control. There we go. All right, guys. So that's a code four, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. 3L13, show me responding. Alright guys, we got reports of a house robbery in the area. We're going to go ahead and check it out and see what's going on there. Let's go ahead and have the U-turn out of here to get to Richmond. Go ahead and see if we can U-turn here without without any uh, any problems. You gotta be able to let me pass. Thank you. All right. So we're going code three silent right now because we just we're just gonna blip our way there. You know I don't want to go that way. I'm gonna go this way because this is much easier to get through this way than. Let's go ahead and see if they can pass. Let us pass. All right. Hope everybody's been doing okay out there with the start of the fall. I know a lot of you guys are uh, 
Oh, look, another bicycle unit. I know somebody mentioned a bicycle unit the other day when we did our SWAT episode. Show some respect for the boys, for the boys in the bikes. <laughs> the boys in bikes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope a lot of you guys are out there are doing okay with the weather and everything. I hope you guys are doing okay out there with the tropical storms that have been happening in the southeast, in the southwest, all the way out to Texas. I know a lot of you guys out there are survivors of hurricanes and tropical storms. We've been getting so many this year. I mean, I feel like every year we get more and more and more new new storms. Sooner or later, there ain't going to be nothing left of the U.S. by the time the storms are over. We're hitting some kind of weird, some kind of weird phase. All right, they're trying to let us pass, so I appreciate that. Excuse me, guys. You gotta let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Thank you. Yeah, my thoughts and prayers for all those people out there that are getting attacked by hurricanes left and right, man. I don't know what else to, I don't know, you know, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how people can survive those things, man, for real. They're very dangerous. All right. 3L13, show me on scene. Three Lincoln 13, show me on scene. Hey, we got guys coming up here. Hey, hey. Roger, 3, Lincoln, 13. Don't come near me, bro. I'm warning you. You're going to get tased. I'm warning you, bro. Taser, taser, taser. Requesting backup, code 3. Hey, drop the bat, bro. Drop the bat, guys. I got to close this road down. Oh, it's a bat. He's got a bat. He's swinging. He's swinging. Hey. Drop the bat, bro. Two down. Requesting an ambulance for multiple suspects down. Ambulance. Assistance required in Richmond. Yeah, they're dead. There's no way they're going to get up from that. Especially this guy. I can't, I can't secure his bat for some reason. I don't know. Let me check my weapons. Uh, let me check this out again. Let me see. There we go. Now I got it. All right. We gotta shut this road down. Let's get as many officers. Let's see if we can get our officers responding and our ambulance. Look at these guys. I still haven't changed the vest, guys, but I'm changing it soon. I just haven't had a chance to get around it yet, but I will be getting around it soon. Alright, we've got the uh, EMTs right now. If they can, if they can actually assist. Can they get around or not? Let's do this. As you guys can also see, we managed to change the patches for the males. As you guys can see there. Got the Los Angeles fire patches there, so we managed to do that last night. Still waiting on EMTs to get here, but they are taking their sweet time getting past all this, all these vehicles. Let's go ahead and move the traffic so they can run to them. Because I think that's what's causing it. Everybody abandoned their vehicles. Or, okay, I guess I can't. Let me see if maybe I can, uh... Control T, maybe. Is it is it Control T or is it Shift T? I can't remember. Oh. Oh, they despawned. Okay. Oh, there they are. They're okay. I guess this is the failsafe. That's the failsafe protocol. If something were to happen, so. Go ahead and code for the scene, though. We're gonna have to code for the scene here. I'm on it. 3L13 code 4. I can save you. Attention all units. 
Code four, no further units required. That guy's multi got multiple GSWs. There's no way in hell he's alive. The other guy is he just despawned. He's done. So if they can get this guy, then hey, you know, we'll we'll get him, but no, nah, he's gone. Alright. This sucks. Requesting coroner. Assistance required in Richmond. Let's go ahead and clear the scene. Let's get these officers out of here. Nothing we can do here. Thank you guys for helping. Let's take care of the rest from here. Nami, Nazmi, Azman, and Derek Manson. Both shot by a handgun. Well, actually, one got pistol whipped by a handgun. The other one died of a handgun. The other one died of a GSW, multiple GSWs. So, so that was one of the callouts, guys, from uh, Connor's pack. Um, he still got a lot to work on them. You know, he still got a lot to do. There's still gonna be more calls coming. And uh, I'm working. There's another call, uh, another callout pack in the works right now. It only has one call at the moment, but. I'm waiting for, uh, hopefully it's going to be a, hopefully we'll get traffic stop uh, backup required, just like in the assorted callouts, because assorted callouts is out of date, so we need to get a, so we need, you know, we need that callout back, because traffic callout, traffic backup is like the best one to have out there, you never know what could happen, so it could turn into a pursuit, it could turn into, uh, you know, it could turn into a shootout. It could be every, you know, it could just be another ticket. The guy just gets another ticket. He gets off easy, or he lets off with a warning. You never know. But uh, medical examiner's taking that body. It's code four, guys. Let's get back on patrol. All right. So I'm noticing this uh, orange charger's got a uh, got a broken window. Go ahead and pull him over and see what's going on there. And I think he's recklessly driving. Yeah, he's recklessly driving now. Now he's failing to maintain uh, the lanes. And I think he's aggressively speeding a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull him over. Come on, pull it over. That ain't a traffic stop. Right here, pal. Right in there. Perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but we'll get him a little more in just to make sure. Okay, there we go. Now I just gotta wait for the traffic to slow down so I can go ahead and pull it. Dispatch 3 Lincoln 13, show me the traffic stop. See if I can get in, see what's going on here. Roll down the window. How you doing? I'm Officer Noriega with the California Highway Patrol. The reason for the stop today is uh, your window's broken back there, man. You can't be driving with a back window broken. You have a driver's license registration and proof of insurance today? Could you please show me your ID? Seems to be nervous and sweating. Alright. Thank you. Any reason you're nervous right now, bro? Any reason you're nervous, man? You're showing me a little, a little nervous right now. This is just not the usual for me. Okay. Have you ever been stopped for this before? Uh, you guys are the ones who keep the records, right? Yeah, well, we just need to make- I'm just asking, man. We're like, you know, no need to get hostile. I'm just asking. All right, man. Do you have anything illegal in the car, bro? Because you are showing me you're very nervous right now. No, I most certainly do not. All right. Just hang tight for me for a minute, okay? I'm going to go run your information, and then I'll, we'll go from there, okay? Great, right, thanks. I'll see if, an, if another unit should... If I see another unit, should I call my lawyer? <laughs> All right. I want to run his info right quick. Uh, show Bo Darville. Bo Darville's got a 
Um, if you guys are hearing loud banging noises, it's the dump trucks in the neighborhood right now. They're come, they're passing by already. Uh, but it looks like he's a young guy. He's got his proper. He's got lighting, uh, improper lighting warning. He's got loitering. Nothing. Uh, nothing really serious. Let's check the vehicle. Now the vehicle comes back clean. But uh, of course, the law is the law. He's not. He doesn't have. Uh, he's so nervous. I think he's got something. I want to double check him now. You go ahead and have him step out of the car for me. Hey, Bo, you want to do me a favor, man, and step out of the car for me? Just step outside for a minute. I want to talk to you. Hold up. All right, come with me to my car, man, so I can ask you a couple more questions, all right? Come on. Not sure why it's... How my game is doing what it's doing. All right, so... Okay, so... Be honest with me, man. Earlier, you were showing me you were a little nervous, so I need to know right now... Is there anything, are you carrying anything right now that I should know about? Do you have anything that's going to poke me or stake me? Do you have anything illegal in the vehicle that I should know about? A co-worker rode and she has a bit of a drug problem. Alright, so you think there's something in the car? Do you have any gun, anything on you in your, on you right now? Okay. You want me, do you mind if I just turn around for me so I can check real quick? Keep your hands behind your head, okay? PCP, a shotgun. Dude, turn around, buddy. Bo, turn around, right? What are you doing carrying a shotgun inside your sweater, huh? This is a sawed-off shotgun. Very illegal. So that's why you're nervous, huh? That explains why you were nervous. Three L thirteen. Roll me an additional backup code too. Hey, so Bo, last chance, man. Tell me right now, what's in that car? Am I gonna find more drugs, or am I gonna find more guns, or am I gonna find a bit of both? You don't want to tell me? All right, that's fine. I'll find out for myself. Sit tight. The vehicle looks damaged, but that's because he was uh, running through. I don't know what he got. I don't know. He got hit. I pulled him over for that reason. The window back there was damaged, so uh, we'll check inside here and see what's going on. He says he. I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna find something. And there it is: a briefcase full of heroin and a machete. So this guy was distributing heroin. The distribution of heroin. I don't know. I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to get all the answers, but uh, oops, yeah, I didn't see me do that. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to do it this way so I can talk to him. Cause here we go. Hey, Bo. All right, man. So here's what's going on for you, okay? I found the briefcase full of heroin in the trunk. All right. So now it's going to be a distribution charge you're going to be charged with. Uh, distribution of Schedule 1 narcotics. You understand that? And I also found the machete, man. So I got to ask you real quick. Who does the machete belong to, man? Is it yours or is it someone else's? Or is it someone else's? You're not saying nothing? Okay, that's fine. So you realize that it's illegal to carry this weapon, right? Without, a per without the proper permit. You can't even have this in the city, man. So any reason why you're carrying this? Or why you even have it at all in there? And what about the shotgun? What? Did, and what did you? And what about the shotgun? You're not gonna tell me anything about it either. Any reason you're open carrying that shotgun? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, if I find out that this shotgun is stolen, you realize you're gonna be charged with that too, right? Okay. Let me just, uh, let me go ahead and close the door here because this one is just stubborn as hell. Alright, now we're waiting for, let's go ahead and do the weapons. Hold up. 
Am I close enough? Okay, here we go. Narcotics field test. Oh, okay, so it's not the narcotics field test, so it's gonna be the weapons field, weapons serial check. Well, on the shotgun we found inside his sweater pocket, inside his sweater, he was holding a shotgun, a sawn off one. And it looks to be a valid one, but it is sawn off, it's probably gonna be sawn off. That's all he can hold, that's all he was able to hold inside his wallet, inside his sweater, so. The PCP we already got him for. So. Let's go ahead and see if, uh, we'll go ahead and call transport out for him. Let's get his paperwork started. Actually, you know what, guys? We'll go ahead and just, uh, we'll take him to the station ourselves. Now that I'm thinking about it, we'll just take him to the station ourselves. So let's just go ahead and get him for what he has. Uh, we'll get him for his uh, vehicle violations, reckless endangerment. Uh, we'll get him for citations for other, no. Traffic crimes, failure, no, that's not it. Okay. So we're looking for weapons. Let's see. Vandalism and destruction. Property other, uh, nope, okay, firearm, weapons, okay, we got him on possession of a concealed firearm, possession of a concealed firearm without a concealed carry weapons permit, we have him on possession of PCP, we got PCP on him, and then we found the heroin, which is schedule one, we found him on trafficking schedule one drugs with intent to distribute, because he, I'm pretty sure it was, since like I said, it's heroin, so, either way, that's his charges right now, and then we've got him on the possession of a deadly weapon, which is the machete we found. So we got him on three possession count, four possession counts, uh, and then we got him on one reckless endangerment count. So we'll go ahead and take him to the station ourselves. I'm just going to leave the car where it is, because if I call a tow truck under here, it's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and take him to the station. Dispatch 3L13. Show me heading back to the station. Returning to the station. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't work. Um, I normally say returning to the station, but... Returning to the station. But it doesn't work, you see? I don't understand. Let me see if I can uh, go this way, and then we'll go ahead and go code. Th oh, no, 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 whoa. Sorry. Sorry. I botched that brick time. We'll go code three all the way to the local station, and then we'll uh, head back to our station for the proper paperwork finish. There's another bike unit. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll turn him over to LAPD custody. All righty. All right, uh, scored. Pass the suspect over to another cop. Like I said, we already got his paperwork done, so. Well, I was about to say I didn't see the other cop, but I guess he just he just showed up. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, code for this, and uh, get back to the station. All right, guys. So now we are pulling to the station here. We're gonna do our paperwork, and we're gonna see where we can park today. Let's see. I want to park right in here today. Let's pull it over right in here. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and show them, let dispatch know that we are out of service. 3L13, show me out of service. 3L13, show me out of service. Ambulance. Assistance I don't understand why it's doing this. 
Plato Bay. I don't know why it's doing this, but uh, whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and do our paperwork, guys, while well, that thing is going to take forever to get there. We only busted two people today. Like I said, it was a small it was a small case, guys. We weren't really doing much. Uh, there wasn't really much going on. I tried to do some of the callouts. I didn't want to force any of the callouts because forcing the callouts now for some reason causes the game to crash too, so... Claudia Montero, age 18, she got possession of heroin, possession of meth, possession of fentanyl, driving motor vehicle while I was suspended, warrant for arrest date. I did forget to put gang unit. I did forget that she should have been charged as a gang member because she was a gang member. So I did forget to charge her as a gang member for these for most of these charges. Possession of drugs as a gang member and all that. So in advance, I do apologize for that guys. Again, I am I do make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. So a lot of people get stingy about that when we don't get it right. So Claudia Montero, she's going to be doing 10 years. License will be revoked. So she's got a lot of charges as a gang member. And she's granted probation after release. And Bo Darville, we got him for possession of three counts, four counts of possessions. Uh, two, two being with drugs, one with intent to distribute. And uh, two for weapons, especially one with a concealed firearm. And a uh, machete in the trunk he was hiding a machete in the trunk and he was recklessly in danger uh, recklessly endangerment because he was running around uh, he was ramming people off the, he was ramming people on the highway before he busted them so he's gonna be doing two years his license will be revoked so hopefully he'll learn his lesson on that one but uh, yeah guys that is gonna conclude our episode today of LSPDFR I hope you guys did enjoy it I know it was a short one but like I said guys we've got more new vehicles to test out over the, in the future Hopefully you guys will be there with me to help me test them out and uh, you guys will be there to watch it. So don't forget that guys, if you want to keep doing that, make sure to hit that subscribe, smash the like on this video, leave some comments down below. Always a pleasure to have the feedback and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.